Yo, yo, fine and Philly, guess who's back? And you're supposed to be... Uh, Woo! Oh, Lord, this is such a fail. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, you want to start over? No, okay, we already started this. Remember, we're supposed to do this impromptu. Impromptu. Anyway, so today has been... Uh, oh, anyway, introductions. This is Deepwater Fish. This is and Zed, that, yeah. That, yeah, that. Anyways, um, so today has been a pretty shroomy day, if I may say. I have been reading this book called uh, Shrooms, A Cultural History of Magic Mushrooms. Um, I've been reading... Uh, nobody asked about what you're reading. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm leaving, guys. No, oh, come on. <laughs> no, bitch, I wasn't leaving. Fuck you. Yeah, because you like the attention. I love attention. Yeah. Give me more attention. Attention, attention, attention. I'm going to cover the whole video so that you get no I air already time. get no airtime. On top of that, I my... What about... Bitch, I recorded you for the... For the... Lightness of being thing. Am I on that video? No. That's right. Okay, okay. You just got owned. I, I just don't want confrontation. Who's and plus, here? and plus, it's Gandhi's aniver death anniversary, so we should be peaceful. Check that. Moment. <laughs> Anyways, so today has been a pretty shroomy day. And no one's seeing your hand, by the way. His okay! Like well, that's just a habit. Had <laughs> 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 go. Yes, okay. So, she has been reading something. Go ahead. Oh, dude, I already forgot. That's like about psychedelics and how you can guide people. I don't remember the full name of the book. The book is over there. Okay, cool. No, no. Mm. So, like I was saying, it's been I've been reading that book. So, this morning when I <laughs> went to my work, we found um fungus growing inside a very critical equipment. Message and from the universe. That's not a message from the universe. It's just Okay, you probably it is. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm uh, let me construct the Framework on which the message from the universe can be received on, and then we shall proceed. So, Go on. so I had I really wanted to say this, but I had mushroom barley soup for lunch, and then I still have been reading on shrooms. So that makes it a pretty shroomy day. So we're here to talk about shrooms today. So let me tell you something really funny. Sure. Is it, is it the funny thing? <laughs> we're not recording. Oh no, we are recording. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Whoops. <clears throat> because I couldn't <clears throat> see anything. Um. <clears throat> sorry, I am really sorry for her behavior. <laughs> why am I? Why am I getting squashed in this in this video? Because you just gave us like a just because I'm an introvert doesn't mean you can walk all over me. Y who says you're an introvert? You like hog attention like any other extroverted sorority girl out there. Okay, that was very mean. I'm Whoa! Really Watch your mouth, motherfucker. Okay. All, right. all right. I'm canceling all Fine and Philly episodes. The YouTube <laughs> channel is coming down. Because she just called me a sorority girl. Do you know what that means in my world, motherfucker? I will... Never mind. That means, like, de-evolutionizing yourself. Yeah, man. You just, like, put me six feet on there, man. And my reputation is gone. Gone. Dead. <laughs> But think about it, your reputation was tying you to this physical world. Fuck you. You care about your reputation. Oh, look at this enlightened being, or like striving to be enlightened being, caring so much about your own reputation. If you were aware of yourself, then you wouldn't have given a shit about your identity or your reputation. Who the hell cares if they're related to a sorority girl or they're being labeled as one? Does it even matter? In the fifth dimension, shit like this doesn't matter, man. The key um, to the fifth dimension right, will be unlocked you. very soon. Yeah, I forgive you for that, for all of this stuff because of that comment. Starting over. So serious stuff. Mushrooms. They're... they're he doesn't awesome. know what the fuck he's talking about. No, I do. <laughs> all right. So if anybody of you have ever heard of magic mushrooms or... We're putting um, this on YouTube. You are aware, right? Yeah, but this is scientific content. The, the, okay. Your so, mama is not going to think that. My mom is probably not going to see this. My mom might. Oh lord, this is already like five minutes into the video and we haven't talked about anything substantial. Except for the fifth dimension. 
The fifth dimension is pretty substantial. Yeah. All right. No, well, I mean, we're giving you time to absorb the fifth dimension. That's our perspective. Like that's our point of making yeah. a fool of we're ourselves. We're just giving here. you time. Past all this tomfoolery, we would like to discuss the potential of mushrooms with you. The two different types of magic mushrooms which are commonly used. One it comes from hails from UK and the rest of Europe. The other one, the North American variety, Psilocybin cubensis, comes actually from Mexico. Mm. Strange drug trade. Anybody? Anyways. Um, so there has been not enough archaeological records or evidence to prove that mushrooms have been used historically by shamans as a Yeah, religion. hold up, hold up, hold up. Just because you read a book doesn't mean everything in the book is... In the writer's opinion. What's I mean. the name of the book? It's called The Cultural History of Magic Mushrooms. Okay. It's who pretty wrote, extensively who researched. Who wrote The dude's this? name is Andy Letcher. Andy Letcher, just so you hear me. I don't agree with everything you say. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't read think your he, book and he, comment he's on this just, further. Okay, his opinions are based on evidence he could find. All right, maybe it was used, but it has not been well documented. Okay, the most famous picture drawn by Cat Harrison of the shaman with the bee like stingray. Or, I mean, we'll post this image on the Finding Philly group. All right, so that you guys have a better idea. So he has, apparently, he has shrooms protruding out from his hands, and people believe that it's actually the representation or a graphic portrayal of how the thing interconnected that Paul Stamets, the stomach shows. Yeah, this dude who's just like standing and he has like a beak like face yeah. and then has like shrooms coming out of his hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so moving past that, so these mushrooms, which have the psychoactive substance called psilocybin, psilocybin. Psilocybin, yes. Uh, forgive my pronunciation. Um, are not the only psychoactive mushrooms out there. There's frequently been incidences throughout history where people have confused them with other poisonous poisonous in the sense that they have caused um, don't do that yeah you will especially die. especially the amanita genus is responsible for this which look on very similar to um, psilocybin <sighs> mushrooms so <laughs> you just gotta find it's so much information what it's it's good information it's just information. Okay, the basic thing I'm trying to Even say is like, idea. first of all, evolutionarily, these mushrooms develop these psychoactive substances as a form of defense mechanism. So when predators like animals would come to eat them, they would actually be driven away because they would die How from the, the fuck toxicity. Is that is a mycological evidence. Biological evidence shows that. So, what we're trying to say is that a lot of users of mushrooms so wait, experience wait, wait, wait. synesthesia. Has it, has, it been, has it been observed that Upon eating the mushroom, animals are like, oh, I'm never going to eat this again. No, but or it has been like absorbed. Or are they like us that were like, fuck yeah, I'm going to eat this shit again. Give me more. I guess that's what m that makes the difference. We accept synesthesia or like hallucinations as a part of a part of an ongoing process of our consciousness. Whereas animals, because their consciousness is not as developed as ours, they Have you like, been an rejected. animal? Do you know this? Okay, based on brain structure and fMRI data. That much? Yeah, well, wh how can I be an animal? <laughs> no, that's, I, I thought you meant something else. Are you even serious? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you meant, like, it was shown using that kind of data that animals did not like the mushrooms. Well, animals do not like the mushrooms not because these mushrooms are not part of any known organism's diet. How how doesn't that make sense? That's not direct proof of anything. Okay. Absence of evidence does why? not mean First evidence of all, why of are you screaming? He's because screaming. I am trying to make a point here and you're just messing no, around. No, you're just, you're just being a fucking skeptic. And you don't, you're just trying to diminish... I am laying out Mushrooms. opinions and scientific evidence. That's all I'm trying to do. Da, 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 the word scientific evidence has come in. Let's drop all arguments because what Nafis is saying is probably... You know what? This, this whole mushroom talk will be rehashed and more properly presented to you all sometime later. 